Hello grade 12s. In this video, we are going to revise some of the trigonometry we have learned in previous grades. We will start with the general solution and then move on to how to use identities. Remember, a trigonometric equation will contain a trigonometric ratio, either sine, cos, or tan, and an unknown. We are often asked to solve for the unknown, and in previous grades, you've been taught to do this by using the general solution. Let's look at those solutions again. Take a moment to copy down the general solutions for each trigonometric ratio. In each case, x is the unknown and a is the known value. Remember to write down that k is an element of integers. These can look a little confusing, so let's try an example together. The first problem asks us to solve for theta correct to one decimal place if three sine in brackets theta minus 15 degrees close brackets equals negative 2,181. Remember, the first thing we need to do is to isolate the sine ratio. We divide by three and get sine of theta minus 15 degrees equals negative 0, 0,727. Now we need to use our calculator. First, we push shift, then the sign button, and then negative 0, 0,727 and equals, and we get negative 46,6357953. Now let's put this into the general solution of sign. Remember, there are two different formulae to use. The first one reads, Theta minus 15 degrees equals minus 46,635 degrees plus K times 360 degrees. The second one reads, theta minus 15 equals 180 degrees minus, in brackets, negative 46,635 degrees plus K times 360 degrees. Now, we need to solve for theta in both equations. Let's start with the first equation. We add 15 to both sides and get theta equals negative 31,6 degrees plus k times 360 degrees rounded to one decimal place. We can't simplify this equation any further, so let's work with the second equation. First, we add the numbers on the right and get 226,637 degrees. And now we add 15 degrees to both sides. This gives us theta equals 241,6 degrees plus k times 360 degrees. And k is an element of any integer. Sometimes we will be asked to solve these equations without the use of a calculator. This means we will need to use special angles. Take a moment to copy down these values. In order to use this table effectively, we need to remember that sine of an angle is equal to y over r, cos of an angle is equal to x over r, and tan of an angle is equal to y over x. You also have to remember some basic rules when solving trigonometric equations. Let's have a look at these. If sine a is equal to sine b, then a equals b plus k times 360 degrees, or A is equal to 180 degrees minus B plus K times 360 degrees. If cos A is equal to cos B, then as per the general solution of cos, A is equal to B plus K 360 degrees, or A is equal to negative B plus K 360 degrees. If 10A is equal to 10B, then A equals B plus K 360 degrees. Remember that we can apply cofunctions to all of these rules. Let's remind ourselves of what a cofunction looks like. Sine of 90 minus theta equals cos of theta, and cos of 90 minus theta equals sine theta. So, if you have sine of A equals to cos B, you are able to change the words to either sine on both sides or cos on both sides by using the 90 minus identity. 
Now let's revise our trigonometric identities. Sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta. Cos squared theta is equal to 1 minus sine squared theta, and tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta, and 1 over tan theta is equal to cos theta over sine theta. Thank you for joining us. Practice what you have learned by doing the questions in the advanced trigonometry task video. You'll also be able to learn more about trigonometry on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.